Did you know that Thailand has begun mixing its COVID vaccines? In other words, Thailand is administering two different doses of vaccines to its citizens. But how safe is it? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Neha and welcome back to this week's episode of What the Fact is Going On. In today's episode, let's talk about Thailand's vaccine mixing policy and whether or not it's recommended. Most COVID-19 vaccines comprise of two shots, just like AstraZeneca and Pfizer. In fact, since the beginning, it was advised that the second shot of your vaccine should be the same as your first. That is, if your first shot is Covishield, your second shot should also be Covishield. However, due to multiple reasons such as vaccine supply shortage, efficacy issues and safety concerns, people all over the world have begun mixing and matching their vaccines. That is, taking two different vaccine doses. Something similar is happening in Thailand. The COVID-19 Delta variant is sweeping across Thailand. In fact, according to a few news reports, Thailand's weekly cases have reached an all-time high. Now, things got worse when Thailand's healthcare professionals got infected by the virus despite being fully vaccinated by the Sinovac vaccine. A Thai study stated that Sinovac, a vaccine produced by a Chinese company known for its varying efficacy rate, did not show promising real-world evidence against the Delta variant. And so, Thailand's health minister decided to introduce a vaccine mixing policy of administering one dose of Sinovac and the other dose of AstraZeneca. In addition to that, Thailand is also considering on giving a third booster shot of either AstraZeneca or Pfizer to its fully vaccinated healthcare professionals. So why administer two different doses? According to research, mixing vaccines produces a potent immune response. Several world leaders like Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and German Chancellor Angela Merkel have also resorted to vaccine mixing. However, WHO's chief scientist Soumya Swaminathan warns against vaccine mixing and calls it a dangerous trend. So it's a little bit of a dangerous trend here where people are in a, they're in a data-free, evidence-free zone as far as a mix and match. There is limited data on mix and match. Even though there are no large-scale studies on vaccine mixing, more countries are planning to mix and match different vaccines. What do you think? Would you mix and match your vaccine shots? Let us know in the comment section below. Hey, thanks for watching Logically India. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We make fact-checking episodes every week. So if there's anything you want us to fact-check, let us know in the comment section below. Or download the Logically app for quick fact-checking services. This is Team Logically, signing out.